The supplies required for the PLO gel this week will be a one ounce graduated conical, a glass stirring rod, a 3 ml syringe with a needle, two 12 ml syringes with this red syringe connector, and an AccuPen that comes in three pieces. The tube that you load, the final product, the red cap, and then the end cap. Weigh the required amount of acyclovir powder. Place the small weigh boat on your scale and tear your scale. Place the acyclovir powder into your one ounce graduated conical and place the glass stirring rod into the conical. This step we're going to measure the required amount of 20% lidocaine solution. We will be using a 3 ml syringe with a needle attached. Remember to carefully remove the needle cap away from your fingers. Put the required amount of air for the volume you want to remove into your syringe. Go into your vial and withdraw the required volume. You want to be sure that you get rid of the air bubbles. Push the air back in the vial and then adjust your volume for the final amount. Go ahead and take this syringe and transfer the liquid into your one ounce conical that contains the acyclovir. Carefully recap the needle at this stage. We will use this syringe in another step. In this step, before we withdraw the acyclovir solution and lidocaine from the graduated conical, we want to be sure it's in solution. Once you're sure it's in solution, gently lay your glass stirring rod and use the 3 ml syringe used previously. Go ahead and remove that needle cap and the needle can lay in the very bottom of your graduated conical and withdraw all the solution into your syringe. Appropriately recap the needle and then twist this needle off and dispose of it into an appropriate sharps container in the lab. In this step, we're going to measure the required amount of paloxamer, 20% solution. It is stored in the refrigerator at this temperature, it is in solution form. As it warms to room temperature, it will turn into a gel. You want to be sure you don't have air bubbles in your syringe, so tap any air out of the syringe and expel it. and then adjust to a final volume. In this step, we are going to be measuring LIPS. LIPS stands for lecithin isopropyl palmitate solution. Again, it's important to make sure there are no air bubbles in your syringe. So withdraw an amount and then remove any air bubbles and adjust for the final, final volume. As a reminder, in the 3 ml syringe, we have our acyclovir lidocaine solution, which are our active ingredients, and in the 12 ml syringe, we have our paloxamer solution, and this is the aqueous phase. We want to go ahead and add the 3 ml syringe into the 12 ml. So you do this by using a syringe connector. We will attach it to the 3 ml syringe 
and then attach our 12 ml and lure lock that on to. We now can add the solution into the 12 ml syringe. So gently add that. Go ahead and twist off the 3 ml syringe. And now you're ready to add the lips portion. You're now doing the final step where you're making your PLO gel. So you want to attach the lip solution onto the syringe connector. Remember, you need to be sure that both sides are lure locked on snugly. So check. Now, you can do this two ways. You can go ahead and do it side to side. And you want to rapidly move the solution from one syringe to the other. Or you can use the counter and push it and just rotate it. You will want to check periodically for any dark yellow swirls because that means that the PLO gel is not uniformly mixed yet. Keep doing this and I recommend that you If you want to count, it's probably about 50 times, but back and forth. Periodically check and make sure that both sides are still lure locked on. And continue to do this until you have a uniform PLO gel. Okay, now we want to go ahead and add our finished PLO gel into the AccuPen. So detach the empty syringe and the syringe connector and we're going to carefully add the PLO gel into our AccuPen, the empty hole. And what you need to do is just go ahead and just like in an ointment jar, you want to go ahead and add some and periodically tap the air bubbles. So be sure you're adding to the center. You can see that the gel is filling the window. Okay, once the gel is into the AccuPen, you need to go ahead and put the interface between the gel and the air. And this comes in two sides. One is an indented, so my finger can fit in that side. The other is like a button. So an indented side and the button. The indented side is what goes next to our gel. So put it into the top, place it gently, and what you're going to be doing is moving that interface down until it comes into contact with the gel. You will feel the resistance. At that time you can quit pressing and you want to put the final cap. So the final cap will go on. Go ahead and start it and then you can go ahead and use the countertop until it clicks on. Counterclockwise, one way will be open and clockwise will be closed. And then you can go ahead and dispense the gel from the top of the AccuPen. Remember, if you turn the button counterclockwise, that will go ahead and open for the gel to be dispensed. And to dispense the gel, you click it just like a pen. And you want to go ahead and prime this device to make sure there's no air in those first few, few squirts coming out. So go ahead and dispense some. And when you get one or two of the squirts that have no air in them, you can quit priming the device. Be sure to lock, turn it clockwise to make sure it closes and replace the top cap.